Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to a tag video. This is the You Might Be a Nail Polish Fanatic If tag. I was tagged by Alibet here on YouTube. There are quite a few questions, so let's get started. Number one, you've ever stopped driving because the sun just caught the sparkle of your holographic polish. What is your all-time favorite hollow? So I haven't tried too many linear holographics. I mean, this is like my first one. Um, but I love Color Club's Cloud 9. I was sent this by Jennifer Wallenfels and I adore it. Number two, you know the following terms. Hollow, Squobble, Three Free, and Blurple. What are your favorite Blurple polishes? So this is actually a color uh, category in my collection that is definitely missing. Uh, but one of my favorite Blurples in my collection is Simple Colors Blues Cruise. This is available right now. You can find it at Target, Walgreens, I suppose, anywhere that Simple Colors is sold. Um, but this is, it's just a great cream two coat polish. Number three. You plan your vacation based on the brands available there. Which countries do you own or want to own polishes from? So I don't own any polishes from out of the country, but some countries I would love to own polishes from. Um, I would say South Africa, um, maybe Australia, Japan, just, I don't know. I feel like another continent would be great. Number four, you've slept in the parking lot of Sally Beauty because the 75% off clearance starts tomorrow. Where do you go for the best nail polish deals? So I always shop clearance when I'm in store or I just buy online. I use nailsupplies.us. I know there are a few other um, websites that people use, but really just shop online. You can find great deals online. Number five, you don't like the color pink but still own 50 bottles of it. Have you ever purchased a polish color finish, but you had no idea why once you got home? Yes, whenever I've picked up a metallic polish, I don't like the streaks. I don't know why I continue to. I don't have too many. I have like maybe five, if that. Um, but metallics are just not my favorite at all. Number six, you've set an alarm to notify you 15 minutes before the next indie sale goes live. Which is your favorite indie brand and why? So I've only tried two indie brands, so I don't really think I can answer this question. Number seven, you've spent more money on a bottle of polish than lunch. Uh, yes, of course. What's the most expensive nail polish you've ever purchased and why? So the one that I can think of off the top of my head, um, I did want to say Essie's Accrued Interest, but I purchased this like over five years ago and I don't even remember the price anymore. So I'm thinking that maybe this recent purchase, this is a Frida Kahlo polish that you can find at CVS. Um, I think this is probably the most expensive. This is $8. I don't know. The packaging is gorgeous. Number eight, you started a YouTube Instagram channel so that you can converse with others in nail speak. What's the craziest thing you've ever done in the name of getting your hands on a polish? I don't know, I purchased off eBay. Yeah, that's probably the craziest thing. I haven't done anything too crazy. Number nine, you are on a first name basis with every drugstore sales clerk within a 20 mile radius of your home. Which brand has your favorite bottle shape? So absolutely positively, Morgan Taylor. These bottles just look so luxurious. They're very hefty in the hand. I would say that these are actually heavier than OPIs, but this bottle shape, this cap, I, I love the way that it looks. Which is your least favorite bottle shape? So that's gonna have to go to uh, Wet n Wild's new Wild Shine packaging. I don't know what the deal is with this cap, but it is just, it's not fun to work with. Number 10, you know the difference between Scion, Cerulean, and Prussian Blue. What is the most unusual color finish you own? Ah, uh, I don't have one. I don't have an unusual one. I, well, maybe, Maybe uh, China Glaze is simply fat blue list because I feel like the finish of this, it's very jelly, but it's extremely glossy and I feel like I've never owned a super glossy looking polish before, but I mean, I don't know. It's not that, it's not that unique. Number 11, you think the color of the neighbor's new car would make a great polish? Ugly pretty colors, yes or no? Yes, I do love ugly colors. Number 12, you've moved to a bigger house so that there's room for your collection. No way. How do you store and organize your collection? So, um, I put them in Helmer, a white one. I think that's pretty common in the nail polish community. Number 13, you've planned a shopping trip with your girlfriends just so you can make sure you visit TK Maxx Ulta Rite Aid in that town. What's your favorite out-of-town purchase? So, because I don't have a Rite Aid near me, um, 
while traveling. One time we did stop by a Rite Aid and I picked up Julia G's Cabana Moy. I like this more than the OG Pacific Blue. This is gorgeous and I love the formula. Number 14, you sent nail mail. Yes, I have. Where is the furthest you sent nail polish to? Um, I think like Kentucky or Ohio, somewhere over there. And the last one is number 15. You've named a pet Zoya or Essie. What is your favorite mainstream nail polish brand? So when it comes to the drugstore, Cinnabon Colors, without a doubt, um, so inexpensive and they're so good. Um, but my favorite like salon brand is gonna have to be China Glaze. I don't know, but Morgan Taylor, I don't know. And Orly's been kicking it up a notch for me. Ooh. My longtime love has been China Glaze, so I'll say China Glaze. So I'm gonna tag Steffi Ray, Maureen from Glamour and Nail, uh, Kelly Michelle, I would love to see your answers, um, Carla from Love for Polish. Anybody that wants to do this, I tag you. And let me know if you did it so that I can watch a video. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.